Hi, I'm Leslie Meredith with Breakbulk Events and Media. I'm here in Shanghai at Breakbulk China with our instructor for doing business in China, who's an attorney, Nick Chen. Welcome, Nick. Thank you. All right, well, you had a meaty topic. Uh, give us some highlights from what you were advising your audience. Well, uh, we were asked to join Breakbulk primarily because lots of uh, companies sometimes have uh, misunderstandings or disputes with Chinese companies. So we focused on three items. The first message was to change uh, everybody's perspective on how to avoid, why they want to avoid litigation and disputes. The second point was <laughs> basically we covered 22 of the most common mistakes Wow. In our experience, okay. so I and my partner Jan collectively, who's a, he's a Chinese lawyer, and so we collectively have about 50 years of experience uh, in China. So what we did was we articulated 22 of the most common mistakes. All right, how about you give us the top three? Well, uh, basically we want to help people to define in advance in the contract and document in the contract who are the parties, who are the real parties, what are the clear uh, obligations and responsibilities for performance, what happens in the event that uh, there's non-performance, so what is a breach, who does what. So it's, it's completely within the control of the, the, the business, the company. Um, most people ignore it. They're either very optimistic or bureaucratic, whatever, but they're not focused on documenting it. So if you do it right, you get an advisor in advance, you avoid all the problems because basically the perspective is you never want to be in litigation in China. It's a huge traffic jam, it's congested, lots of problems. So you want so to avoid lots that. lots of money, lots of time. Lots of lost money, lots of lost time, lots of lost management attention. Um, and at the end of the process, even if you win a judgment, five minutes after the euphoria, you're poor again. So well, we, that was kind of the, the, the change of perspective. And then what are the most common mistakes to be avoided? And then we focus at the end on if you really do have a problem, if you were not successful in avoiding the problem, then what do you actually do? So everyone sometimes have that oops moment <laughs> and so then what do you do and so we concentrate on that and we provided some handouts that talk about it we have a, a, a limited cost process of how you gather information how you share it with us what we're looking for and we give you a report on here are your options your business options your legal options here are the things where you're strong here are your weak where your opportunities are and some of your threats. And we try to do that in a package within five days and help the business decision wow. makers That's a quick say, turnaround. what do I do? Because everybody needs that. Sometimes you get a mistake, sometimes it's something beyond your control. So that's what we are here to do today. Excellent. Lastly, we're hearing a lot about um, Chinese, China uh, investing in so many projects around the world. Right. Um, so does that, play a role in your business? Sure. Um, we also help Chinese companies doing business outside. Uh, doing business is much more than law. Uh, it's linguistic, it's uh, language, it's culture, it's business practices. So Chinese companies are not all uniform. They all have different corporate cultures. So if you think of two American companies, they don't have the same business culture. They have legal issues, they have maybe not so much language issues, but their ways of doing business and their assumptions are different. It's the same for Chinese and European or Chinese and Latin America or Chinese and African, but everyone is particular. There's no such thing as a Chinese business culture. Uh, so you have okay. to sweat the details. Well, that's probably a misperception right there. Right. Can you make a sweeping generalization about all of them? You can. Will it be partially right? Yes. Will it be partially wrong? Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much You're for sharing that. You're more than welcome.